Yo guys, KSK all here. Sorry for the delay on this coverage. I wasn't feeling good for the past one week and finally, here we go. This is the first look of the Pixel ROM based on Android 10 running on the Beast Pocophone F1. A huge shout out to the developers of this ROM, Henrik Silva, who actually makes us so happy with brand new surprises for our beloved Poco F1. I mean, just look at his page. A Poco F1 is only the champion currently has a working Android 10 beta available on this website by the time of capturing this video that proves Poco F1 is really a developer friendly device. In this video, I will talk everything about this initial Android 10 beta, which includes both pros and cons. Let's get into it. All right, now let's talk about some of the pros of this build, which includes a features and improvements. First and foremost, after installing this build, you may feel it's much faster than other Android 10 custom ROMs. It's fluid. The UI actually feels pretty good without any issues. Now, Android 10 brings a brand new system-wide navigation gestures, which works super fine. These navigation gestures actually put a lot of pressure on the GPU, but thanks to this ROM, there are no issues at all compared to other Android 10 builds and GSIs. They're much smoother now. Pixel ROM handles these navigation gestures like a boss. I mean, just look at the speed. How cool is that? Along with these navigation gestures, now in Android 10, you can trigger a Google Assistant by swiping either from the corners of the bottom left or right, just like that, and get started talking to the world's most powerful Google Assistant. To be honest, I seriously don't like this approach. I mean, sometimes it won't work as intended. Often you may end up launching the app drawer rather than the Google Assistant. For me, I pretty much rely on this Assistant toggle, which is so easy to use. This goes same with the lock screen. You can use same gesture, but sometimes accidentally it can trigger the password fails, which are sort of annoying. Now, dark mode in Android 10 has been polished so much to work with system wide. The dark mode on this build has been taken to the next level. You can now trigger the dark mode from the quick tile panel with one single tap, just like iOS, which is pretty handy to use. This dynamic approach of the dark mode even works with the boot animations. I mean, seriously, just look at this dark boot animation. It's damn fantastic. Along with the dark mode, you can also get the accent colors. Uh, these accent colors are sort of hidden from the display setting and it has moved to the developer settings. I hope in future releases of this Pixel ROM, we may see this option under the display setting. Now, when you talk about the safety net check pass, yep, I have tested it and it has passed the test, which is a full of surprise. This way I tried using Google Play, it does work fine. Uh, keep in mind, I barely flashed this ROM without any root or mods installed. That being said, now let's talk about the main things of this ROM, the cons. First and foremost, I have a shout out to all of you guys who actually reported the bugs on my community page of YouTube, which are present in the Android 10 beta. Thank you so much. And anyway, the initial build of Android 10 on Pocophone F1 are having some issues regarding a poor signal quality issues. I have noticed the signal strength on my Poco F1 is sort of annoying while answering the calls. And some people are even having an issues with Airtel services. As of now, Geo LTE and OLTE services are working fine with me without any issues except the poor signal quality issues. Next up, glitch with the Wi-Fi while downloading files from the Google Play Store. This is sort of annoying thing which I have encountered. Uh, basically, if you try to put a batch download from the Google Play Store and after leaving your phone aside for a while, the apps aren't going to install properly and it may stuck a certain percentage which is sort of bummer. Also, I have noticed there is a little bit of a problem with the touch latency. Uh, this can be encountered while playing PUBG. Uh, basically, if you try to fire an enemy, uh, the response time of the touches aren't that faster, which is sort of annoying. Now, when it comes to Google Camera, the 4K with 60 FPS won't work as intended. Whenever if you try to record 4K at 60 frames per second, the Google Camera simply shuts down without any warning. This update also won't have an option to use a face unlock with the help of the Google Smart Lock, which is sort of bummer. When it comes to playing heavy graphic intensive games like PUBG, you may notice a little bit of frame drops as well as a touch issues may be encountered. 
Last but not the least, battery backup. I'm seriously surprised, guys. It provides a good battery life as of now. I do get a four plus hours of screen on time usage without any issues. Keep in mind, these statistics are sort of absurd at this time, and hopefully, we get a better battery improvement to the battery life in the upcoming builds. So, the bottom line of this video definitely, this is the initial beta of Android 10. And if you want to try it, you can do it, but technically, you have to wait for a few more days until the pixel. 4 comes out and we're gonna see the a full-fledged working Android 10 ROM for our Pocophone F1. Anyway guys that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you want to see the installation guide of this ROM in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video. This is your host KSK Royal. Peace out.